Hi, my name is Achish, and in this video, we will see how to find the grid of the Azure AD tenant. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Logged on to the portal, and this is my Azure Active Directory. All right, so all Azure AD tenants are named as subdomains of the root domain, which is on Microsoft.com. So if you would see the my tenant name is v-2usser and my primary domain name is v-2usserlive.onmicrosoft.com right so some very uh, some very clearly adopters of uh, example our office 365 might also have tenant names that looks like uh, some office.microsoftonline.com but as far as i know all new tenants will inherit the onmicrosoft.com domain but names are Difficult. So every Azure AD tenant also have a GUID or a GUID that is guaranteed. You may also call it as a GUID that is generated and it is guaranteed to be unique with every Azure AD. So when you sign up for a service like Office 365, which is which uses Azure AD in the same way, Exchange Server uses Active Directory. We can immediately start using services like Exchange Online, Skype, with the default Azure AD tenant domain. Sometimes it might be useful to know what the grid of your tenant is. Perhaps you know uh, you need it to file a support request, or you want to work out what is going on when you do federated sign-ons against Azure AD. Finding the grid is not as easy as you might think, right? So it is not. So let me show you the easiest way to do it. So when you log on to your uh, portal and uh, you can find or create a custom application that is integrated. So if I go to enterprise applications, I'm sorry go back again I click on app registration and I want to create so this is my app that I registered right so if you go to the branding this is your publisher domain which is this domain Now, if you would see this, you would see the tenant information and you see the tenant ID. You can copy it. You can get the your uh, tenant good from here. You can paste it on the notepad. This is how I pasted it. And the other alternate ways to find the tenant ID through Azure portal is to click the properties in the left pen. So if you would go here and you click on this and you scroll down and you click on properties it is your tenant good you can copy and paste it here it is same all right and uh, you can also find uh, the azure tenant id with the powershell as well so if you launch cloud shell within your browser or if you launch PowerShell here run as administrator. I'm launching PowerShell. Okay. And if I do connect AZ account, it will give me a pop up to enter my credentials. D Enter my password. I'm logged on here. As soon as I log in. Okay, so if I do get AZ tenant, 
this is my ID right I can copy it these are different directories that I have and I can copy it on the notepad which is this it is same all right and you can do it with the CLI as well then you launch the cloud shell okay and if you want to browse more on this you can cancel this and you can use company branding and uh, this feature would enable you to configure graphics and text that reflect your organization branding right so whenever your user would log on using your tenant id they would see an image or a kind of screen saver thing at the back of your internet page when they are trying to log on you can improve the user experience user can sign in faster with fewer errors when the sign in experience helps them understand which credentials to use and uh, if you want to add licenses to your uh, azure active directory you can click on licenses like here you go on home you click on azure active directory you click on licenses and what are licensed features like you have single sign on user provisioning federation user management device registration different license have uh, different features like password write back password protection cell service password reset so if i click search write back so device write back and i want use password right back see self-service password reset unlock with on-premise password reach back this is available in azure ad premium 2 so if you will click on it it gives you a free trial and if you click on it to activate i all i have already used the free trial version so once you enable it and have already used your free trial version then you will have to uh, you know log on to a different page and purchase it so if you would click on uh, the pricing page here this is your uh, private so if you check the option in INR these are the pricing details with the different licenses that they have and uh, so the cost would come around uh, for p1 it comes around 432 433 per user per month and for p2 it is around 650 per user per month and the license that i'm using as of now is free because when i used the trial version i did not go beyond a uh, one month and purchased it separately to you know continue with the p2 version all right so i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day